how to install oxygen os 10 based on android 10 from the oneplus 7 on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 from the OnePlus 7 on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11 Global Stable version 11.0.3.0 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisites for this video are that you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have to up recovery installed how do you do that i have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of the video next thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loops you will have to do a format data from to up recovery in which case you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device another thing i would like to mention is that my device right now is not encrypted so if i go into settings and then password and security privacy and encryption and credentials you will see that my phone is not encrypted in case your phone is encrypted an encrypt phone it is going to say encrypted what i'm coming to over here is that i don't know whether the rom supports encryption or not you are free to ask that in the xda thread which is linked in the description of the video and if you get an answer you can always let me know and we can add it to the pinned comment what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and these are the two files which you need you need the oxygen os rom itself this includes your system your vendor and your boot and then because my device is not encrypted i need disable force encryption zip file as well in case your device is encrypted and you still want to try installing oxygen os 10 on your redmi k20 pro then you do not need the disable force encryption again if your device is not encrypted then you need the file if your device is encrypted and the rom supports encryption then you do not need disable force encryption next thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and we can go into password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done you can go back go into me account and remove your me account as well once that is done you'll go into accounts and sync and remove your google account as well once you've removed all the accounts and security measures you need to reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from stock to a custom rom and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device once that is done next thing we need to do is boot our device into to up recovery how do you do that the first thing you need to do is turn off your device once you've turned your device off you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo once we are in to up recovery we'll go into wipe advanced wipe and you need to select dalvik cache and data yes we're only selecting dalvik cache and data once that is done swipe to wipe once the wipe has finished successfully We'll click on the home button and if you get a message about unable to decrypt fbe device you can ignore it it works absolutely fine even with the message so we'll go back to the home screen go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you downloaded the zip files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i transferred them manually so they are in the root directory the first file which we need to flash is the oxygen os 10 rom port from oneplus 7 for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro so we will select the file next if your device was not encrypted as is the case with me we will click on add more zips and select the disable force encryption zip file if your device was encrypted then you would not have downloaded disable force encryption and all you need to do is swipe to confirm flash now before you ask me what about magisk and what about root i personally recommend that you boot into a custom rom once make sure everything's working fine and then you reboot to recovery and install magisk why are we waiting to boot into the custom rom once it just removes 
some variables involved in flashing a custom ROM and that way you know that it's not magisk which is causing a boot loop. Once all the files have installed successfully, we will click on the home button. Back on the home screen, all you need to do is click on reboot and then select system. However, if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loops, then you will have to boot back into TWRP recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. Then you will go into wipe, format data, type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. Again, as I mentioned earlier, format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So make sure you have a backup of all those things before you do format data. For now, we're going to skip that step. We're going to reboot and select system. And bam, there it is. We have the Oxygen OS boot animation on our Redmi K20 Pro, which means our phone is booting into Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 from the OnePlus 7, you might notice that the camera has popped up. That is a bug in this current build. However, let's hope that down the line, the developer is able to fix it. And as I mentioned at the starting of the video, make sure to keep an eye out on the pinned comment because that is where you'll get the latest updates about whatever new versions of the ROM the developer comes out with. And we are on the setup screen. Let me skip the initial setup real quick. Once you're done with the setup, make sure you click on allow for OnePlus launcher and we can now go into settings and about phone and bam, there it is. We are running Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 from the OnePlus 7 on our Redmi K20 Pro. And there it is peeps, that is how you install Oxygen OS 10 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. And that will do it for this video. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.